Hello, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. This is Second Chance Saturday. So I'm going to show you how to take a stack of books and we're going to make it look really unique. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in. The best place to find books is usually at a thrift store or a library sale or garage sales, but what you want to try and do is get three that are pretty much the same in width and length. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the covers of the book and you're going to rip it. You're going to rip the jacket right off the book. Now it's really difficult sometimes to find a blank page. At the end I'll show you what you can do to make that top page blank. On your stack of books. This is really um, popular right now with Farmhouse. Just putting three words on each book and stacking them. Ooh, these books are new. Alright, so we're going to stack them like that. Now the best thing to do is do it this way because you want them level. Alright, and then what you're going to do don't worry about the back side. This it will be the back side. Don't worry about that. But what you're going to do is you're going to glue. Oops. Is that from this? And is that blank? Oh yeah, baby. We can use that. All right. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a lot of glue on here. And you're going to glue this right up to it. Alright, we got a little bit of book jacket on there. We don't want that on there. Let's get this out of the way. Alright, now this top one is a little bit shorter than the others, so I'm actually trying to center it. And that's not working for me, so what we're going to do is we're going to tear those two pages off and I'm going to redo it. I did not get that close enough. And we want it close because you'll see at the end why. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the first part of this video and then tomorrow I'm going to come back and do the other part because you want this to completely dry to do the second part. Alright, let's start over. Let's move this to the side because we are going to use that. If you had a page that was um, had wording on top, it's okay to go back and paint that. And I will show you that how to do that. Alright, so let's try this again. But basically, let's get the this part first. And then let's do a wavy like that. I think that'll work. And then we want to get it as close to the next one as possible. Lined up, centered, so it's flush. Okay? Now we're going to do the next one. We're going to put a line down there, a line down here, a line down here and then wavy in the middle. Okay. And repeat the process we just did on the top one. Now see how they're really lined up? They're really even. Now if you have any that are starting to come apart, this is the time to go back in and add more glue. But my glue stick is my glue thing is out of glue. There we go. Because you want it as, like I said, as close as possible. You want it to be really tight against there. Now I got a little bit of glue out of there, so let's just scrape that off. There we go. All right. Now this is the wording that I chose to put on the side of this book stack. 
So, what I'm going to do is going to try and check out where this is at. And this one's a tight one because of the wings. So I'm just making a light, a light thing there to follow to cut. went too dark on the bottom line. But we can disguise that at the end, so I'm not worried about that. Alright, so it hangs over there, hangs over there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some Mod Podge. This was done with an inkjet print, or this was not done with an inkjet printer. So what I actually had to do was spray this Krylon matte finish on top, because when you do this, you don't want your colors running. So I let this sit after I printed it for about 10 minutes. Then I sprayed just a light coat of this on top. Did not cause any damage to the print. Okay. fun part trying to get this open all the time <laughs> and you're generously going to put this on there just on the spine okay then we're going to put this on And you want to push down because you don't want any bubbles to cause your design to ripple. I'm going to go ahead and trim down the side. I can always go back and trim closer after it's dry. Okay, so I will go back at the end. Well, I can get it now before I do it. I love these little Fiskar scissors. They really get in really close. I guess I don't worry about any of the print pages showing. Oops. Alright, now we're going to take the Mod Podge and we're going to generously coat the top of the book. Or the top of the picture, I mean. Now I would definitely let this dry overnight because you do not want to touch it till tomorrow. Okay? Alright. So I'm going to let that sit. I'm actually going to use, I have these. And these are nice because it just sits on top of that and then doesn't, doesn't um, stick to the paper. All right, that's it. Okay, through the power of editing, we've already had this dry, so we're gonna go on to the next step. And the next step is to use a really sharp X-Acto knife, and you're just gonna trim down the seam in between the, the books to just give it a, a nice solid break. And if you tried to do this when it was still wet, it would rip. So you want to do it after it's dry, 
So I would suggest doing a bunch at a time and letting them dry and then going back and doing what I'm doing. Okay, so it kind of splits it. Now, because this um, top page is the color I kind of want it, if it wasn't, I would be um, painting it with this. It's home decor, uh, folk art home decor chalk. This is a French linen. It has like a an antique, like beigey look to it. But I want to really antique this up. So I can find a well. There we go. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a little of this on my brush, a little, and I'm going to brush it around here, okay, because I want to make this look antique, okay. I'm also going to do it like on the sides here, like, you know what I mean, to kind of really make this look old. Even though the saying is not old, I'm pretty much showing you how to antique the book. Now, the best thing to use when doing this is a baby wipe. And what it does is it pulls off just some of it. Now see how that paper just flipped up? Okay, what we're going to do to get that to lay down, because if I was painting this with the linen, okay, I would have to um, glue the top page down. But see how much comes off? These are awesome to work with. I just want to take a little more off, but I want it to look really worn. Give it that antique look. Now, I didn't really want to scuff up the middle, but I want the sides to look really um, antique-ish. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we could get them in here in the cracks. And then to make this stay down, we can actually take some glue sticks and glue the page down. I'm not worried about the rest of the pages because we're going to have this wrapped. So it will lay down. And will dry as such. Now, I'm going to be putting one of these on top. And I really want this to look aged. This is one of those um, devices or little kitchen products that they use to get the beeswax, the honey, I'm sorry, the honey out of the jar. So I guess it's called a honey, is it called a honey dipper? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably is because that's its job. So I'm just making this look aged, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to wipe some of it off because I want it to look consistent. There we go. See, this is what it looked like before. That's what it looked like after. Now at this point, you would go ahead and wrap your books with twine or whatever, but I thought this would kind of be cute to put on top. But I kind of want the bees to go in the same direction that that is going. So, it's just a leftover piece of um, ribbon that I had. So let's get some more hot glue here because I know my glue stick is about out. And I'm going to pull this taut. Let me see where it is on the top. All right, so let's kind of pull this down. So then I have three across the top.
see this sitting in front of the tear tray that has a, a bee design on it or any kind of decor you got going on. Now I think I think I'm gonna like distress the side of the ribbon, the yellow. I kind of don't want it that dark. So I'm just using this. This is an antique wax. Well, it's a wax. It's it's um, antique wax. And what it does, it's brown. There's a clear wax that you can use. An antique. Oh. All right, so I'm going to use this twine. Well, there we go. If you're not happy with your color, you can go back and take more off. You can go back and put more on, whatever you want. Now, because I didn't get that as tight as I'd like it, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to kind of glue it there in place because I want to wrap this around the books a lot here. Okay. Now, I'm going to trim this here. So I'm going to take it under and I kind of want to tie it like there. Then we're going to take this and this is what I was telling you about the other day. I did get a whole section of this from Hobby Lobby. I will post the uh, the thing in the in the comments. It's a garland, a six foot garland. Now, because bees go for flowers, let's trim this. This looks a little fake on the end. We could also put some flowers in here that they would go for. Um, 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 um. I don't know what one I want to go with, what color I want to go with for that. And I kind of want this going in this way because I kind of want it sticking out. There we go. Um. I want that color. I could go ahead and put this in there. Or go with the lighter one. I like the lighter one better. one more time. And there we go. There's our first book stack. Now I want to pull this. I want this to show more. There we go. And I'm kind of liking that, but I'm thinking it's a little too heavy on the one side. 
go. And I kind of like that. Oh, took off too much. Go back over it and do a lighter dusting. There we go. There is our first book stack. Now, I have two more to do, and they're drying right now. I have this one that says Home Sweet Home, and this is like the uh, the gunny sack, the um, stripe. That's going to be more farmhouse. And then I have this one. This is for my grandson, and this is for his mom. So I'm hoping she's not watching this. So we're going to be completing that one tomorrow. Or, in the wake of things, it will seem I'll be doing it tomorrow, but it'll all be on the same video. So there we go. They're drying, and this one's finished. How farmhouse is that? I even think I would like some of that on the side to really make it look old. But this is just done with three paperback books. There. I don't know where that red spot came from. Must have been on the book. And we need to glue this down a little. It's coming up. There we go. Put any greenery on here you want. There we go. First one's done. Be thankful. Okay, we're going to be working on the next one. This is the one that um, I was going to do, but I'm going to hold off because this is a present for my daughter-in-law. This is my grandson when he was born. So I kind of want to not give her a heads up. <laughs> so when I'm done with this one, I will take a picture and I will show it to you. But right now we're going to work on this one, Home Sweet Home. Now I did use my regular printer. I did um, go ahead and spray it, but some of the coloring still ran. So I am going to antique it and make it look old. But I would definitely suggest using an inkjet printer if you don't have one. There is, you know, Staples, any any Office Max, any of those stores can copy it for you. All right, so it's it's well it's well uh, cured. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our splits in here. All right, now because this is a color, you know, a printed page, I actually have a piece of paper here that we're going to glue on top. So I'm using a regular glue stick for that. These are so much fun to do and can really decorate any area. Um, they make awesome gifts too, especially like in that instance where it's, it's a baby. Now one thing I did do off camera was I went ahead and I antiqued the sides of the books and the ribbon. Um, I just felt it needed it. So, alright. So we're going to do this. Let's wipes handy. And Rachel did tell me there is an auto body glue out there. It's a hot glue that they sell on Amazon and you can use it. It has a yellow tint to it and it actually looks like honey. So I think I'm going to drizzle some onto this and put a little puddle here of honey. I think that would look really cute. So I'm going to start by antiquing the sides. 
of the books. Now if you go that way, you can get it darker on the edges. And that's what I like. I like to give it depth, and that does give it depth. These are really wet. get it in the edges okay then I'm gonna do the sides of the books and this is exactly how I did it I just want it to look really aged and this is um, folk art home decor antique wax. Antique is the name of the color. The back probably isn't as important as the front and the sides and the top because that's not seen, but I'm just going to do it. what I want it to look like. Now we're going to take our twine here. And I'm going to put a spot of glue there to kind of hold that in place. And then we're going to wrap. place and put this under it so I can tie on top. I'm going to use that flower or just put some greenery on top. 
this is that um, garland. It's called Flowering Garland, and you can get it at Hobby Lobby. It's number 272-559. It's six feet of it. I did have a coupon. I think I'm going to just go with the greenery. I must warn you, when you start doing these, they can become addicting. <laughs> You're going to want to keep doing and doing and doing. Let me see. That does look kind of cute on there, though, doesn't it? Not sure this looks aged enough for me. Let me see. That's what I like. I think I'm going with it. And I think what I'm going to do, I mean, you can use um, tool. You could use anything on these. You could get really creative. I just kind of want that ribbon to kind of, or that twine to kind of stick up there. I'm just putting a little dot so it's not real noticeable. And then we're just going to trim this off so I can glue it flat down. Now this is what I was talking about the other day. Whenever you have a leaf that's kind of out of whack, okay, and it's not going the way you want it, put hot glue on the one before it. Like you know how sometimes when you get your flowers and they come in the mail and they're all squished? It's just a way to make it look a little better than it did. I think that looks country and farmhouse, don't you? Okay, there we go. So we've got Home Sweet Home and we've got Be Thankful. This is Second Chance Tuesday, or Second Chance Saturday. Look for me again next Saturday. And thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.